now there's been another trend going on. And this is the we <laughs> listen, don't judge. And so basically what happens is women are putting men through humiliation rituals. So men value privacy, women like attention. So mm-hmm. generally when there's couples content, it's the woman running the relationship because men don't like the public stuff. Yeah. And they do it because they're most men in terms of sex are in a state of scarcity. Mm-hmm. So they're like, she might leave if I don't do this content. It's going to take me this amount of time to get another woman. Fine. And it kind of, I like these because it shows the state of relationships in America. And you can just kind of see mm-hmm. how the women are like subtly embarrassing their husbands in public. Don't judge. Sometimes I don't really have a headache. We live. Like, how embarrassing is that? Your wife just publicly said she doesn't sleep with you and she pretends to have a headache. Listen, mm-hmm. and, we, and we... Listen, we and we don't judge. judge. Sometimes I go in the bathroom and hide and pretend to go to the bathroom when I hear the chaos in the house, just so you have to handle it, not me. I'm not judging. We, we listen, listen, and we, we don't, don't judge. judge. When sometimes I tell you I'm going to get a facial, but I'm really going to get Botox. <clears throat> so if he doesn't want Botox, why is she getting it? Yeah, I was going to say who paid for the house that they're in because it looks really nice. Yeah, but if she's getting a cosmetic procedure and the man doesn't want it, it's for other men. Yeah. So why is she getting it? We listen, we listen and we don't judge. Like, look at this couple. Who wants to be doing this trend? Yeah. Yeah. See, I haven't seen these ones. I've seen the ones that are, like, like funny. They're being all, being like, I, I, I broke a hole in the wall. They're all like this if you if you pay attention. Maybe. Oh, yeah. But this one, this one's, like, very clearly, that. like. Yeah. I pretend to have to fix something downstairs just so I can play video games and have some peace. We're not judging. Men find their wives so exhausting that they, like, hide from them. We okay, listen their and we don't. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes I move your keys on purpose. Just to drive you crazy when you say you can't find them. Yes, yeah, I don't know why. We, we, we listen, listen and, and we, we don't, don't judge. judge. Sometimes I go in our bedroom at night and pretend to fold laundry while you're downstairs just so I don't have to help you clean up. We listen. We listen. You know what I realized? Hmm. Men would rather have a messy house than a nagging wife. Yeah. Like they would rather it just be a little messy. It's fine. Than having a woman nagging at them to pick up all the time. Yeah. I, w- I wouldn't blame them either. Yeah. And, and we, we don't, don't judge. judge. We don't judge. Sometimes I tell you I have to go run errands, but I'm really just eating Chick-fil-A in my car and go shopping. We listen and we don't judge. Sometimes I ignore you and pretend like I can't hear you in hopes that you'll get so annoyed that you have to repeat it that you won't ask me to do something again. So what did we gather from this? She is admitting to spending without asking him. He's he's, He's running away. And he's admitting to being exhausted from her. This is an interesting trend where they're just humiliating men in public. Yeah. Do you know what I mean, though? Because yeah. no guy wants their relationship on social media. Yeah. So the women that are doing it, it's like most likely, unless he's a social media guy, the relationship's on her terms. Yeah. And if you watch these, it's all the same complaints. The men just want to be left alone. Yeah. <laughs> they don't really say anything bad. They just want to be left alone. And the women are kind of just suddenly... Yeah, they're just like, I'm going to go hide in the basement. And she's like, you can't get it up anymore. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay. So I'm going to continue to this one I thought was hilarious. And I de- we're going to end the show on something funny that reminded me of our dad. <laughs> oh. Okay. To admit that his backyard rink, Martin Ross is the first to admit that his backyard rink is a cut above the standard shinny shanty. It's a beautiful outdoor rink that's kind of done properly. It's not your typical, you know, two by four boards 
with the tarp thrown down. A hockey haven in the back half of his massive backyard that has become the subject of a years-long dispute with both neighbours and the city. Nightmare. Ross lives in Markham's scenic Unionville, and his home has heritage designation. And so when he put up the rink during the pandemic without permission... I did this for my kids. It wasn't long before the city stepped in. They are indeed the 600-pound gorilla to fight against. Some neighbours incensed about Ross's overhaul of the heritage property along with the noise and all the errant pucks that they say has come with the rink. This gentleman has completely destroyed uh, what was a gorgeous backyard full of greenery that supported Beta. privacy and quiet for the surrounding neighbours. And like uh, without permits, he went ahead and took us. massive 100-year-old trees and has turned it into a, a parking lot. Ross admits he was wrong to cut down the trees, but has been fighting for his right to the rink. Two years ago, a superior court ruled that the city of Markham can legally step in to remove it. Ross's recent attempt at an injunction was dismissed. Mr. Ross feels, has felt all the way along that he's above the law, that bylaws don't apply to him. Stressful on me, it's been stressful on my, my kids. <laughs> the city of Markham telling CTV <laughs> the News... The poor man just wants his rank. <laughs> he, just wants, he just wants his kids to have something to do. I know. In a statement that its lawyers and Ross have reached an agreement to restore the property to pre-2021 conditions. The remediation work will be carried out by the homeowner. Ross says he's preparing to reluctantly remove the rink. Would we have Wayne Gretzky today if, you know, if Walter Gretzky didn't build the backyard rink that he built? I don't know who that is. That's funny. It reminded me of the water slide dad put up. And how, the, <laughs> and the, how the city was like, no, they, no, it has to, you can't have a structure yeah. taller than your house. And he was like, it's connected to my, that's my house right there. <laughs> I know. I, I don't understand why people are so lame. I would want to get invited to the rink. So if, if my neighbor had an ice skating rink, I would I would want to ice skate. Feel like I'm gonna bring the hot cocoa. You you bring the skates. I would make like, brownies or something to get my know. foot in the door. I'd be like, guys, fellas, <laughs> I see you got a rink there. Yeah, people, people are dramatic when it comes to the look of those. <laughs> you show up, you show up with cookies, and then you just like casually have ice skates with you. <laughs> It'd be even better if you were still like if you had the skates on your feet. Be like, hi, what are you guys up to? My name, my name is Eva. I'm your new neighbor. <laughs> I saw you got something crazy going on back there. Can I check it out? That's super crazy. <laughs> Anyways, guys, let me know what you think in the comments. Make sure you like the video on your way out. And subscribe to the channel, ring that notification bell, and please go to the audacitynetwork.com. And we're almost to $10,000 for our documentary. We're trying to raise 100K, but you know, 10 is the first goal. So if you want to donate like five bucks after the show, the link's in the description. I love you guys, and I'll see you next time.